Are you tired of seeing the same boring black bars in all your videos once they're exported? I'm going to show you how to create this background using LumaFusion. I love Mike's videos. Please subscribe to his channel for more tips, tricks, and tutorials. This background is used by Dusty Porter, one of my favorite YouTubers, because he does tutorials like I do. So I wondered, can I create it in LumaFusion? Here's how I did it. When you open a new project, you'll see the property called Frame Aspect. The footage I'm working with is recorded on an iPhone 11. To use the custom iPhone settings, all of your footage in your entire video must fit within the iPhone frame. My video intro was not recorded on an iPhone, but on my iPad. So I'm going to use the 16x9 landscape option because I'm uploading this video to YouTube. To create this background, you actually need two copies of the same footage, one on top of the other. I'll bring in the first copy of the footage I want to use and drop it in the main timeline. Then I'll bring in the second. When I bring in the footage, notice that it fills the entire 16x9 preview window. Next, I need to make sure the footage matches up exactly. If it does not, the motion in the final video will be distracting to the viewer. Now that I've added two copies into two different video tracks, I need to take the clip on the top and move it up one video track so that there's a gap in between my two video tracks. Like this. Double tap on the top clip to open the clip editor. As I scrub forward, notice that the two video clips are automatically linked together. This is important when you go to edit the video. I'll show you what I mean later on. Keep watching. Select frame and fit and size and position, and then shrink the top clip down so that the entire iPhone screen is visible inside the preview area. Now I'll close the clip editor and go back to the main timeline to take a look at what I've got so far. I want to make sure that the footage still matches up perfectly so that the motion in the final video isn't distracting to the viewer. This is why that link between the two video clips is important. Don't worry if you can't see some of the footage. I'll fix this later. Using that link ensures that both video clips will remain in sync throughout the entire video so that the motion is not distracting. Now that my clips are matched up perfectly and linked together, I'm going to edit the clips to remove the part where my screen recorder activates. To make this effect work properly, it's important that you edit both clips together so that they remain in sync. Move the playhead to where you want to edit the clip, hit the split icon, and then delete the unwanted part. Make sure you edit both clips together. To make this effect work properly, this is very important. If you edit one clip at a time and they get out of sync, the effect won't look right. Everything still matches up and looks perfect. The most important part about creating this effect properly is to make sure that your clips are lined up now that that's done, let's create the effect. Tap the icon in the upper left hand corner and select Titles. Choose a main title and bring it down into the timeline. Place it in between the bottom and top clip. That's why I created the gap. Double tap your title to open the clip editor. Tap on your text here and throw that away. Tap the single plus sign to add a layer. I'm going to add a shape, a rectangle. Next, I'll expand the rectangle so that it fills the entire preview area. Then I'll change the face color to black. Tap on face color and select black. Tap anywhere on the screen to dismiss the color wheel. To make the shape transparent, I'm going to change the opacity setting. It's at 
which gives us a solid black background. I find this effect looks best if you adjust the opacity to between 75 and 80 percent. Move the opacity slider left or right as needed until you're happy with the result. Then back out of the clip editor and take a look at your final clip. That looks great. I need to expand the title so that it appears for the length of the entire video. You can do this in two ways. Either stretch out one end, or if it's a longer video, tap the duplicate icon. Move to the end of your video to delete any extra footage and clean up your video tracks. Hit the split icon and the trash can icon to get rid of the footage. Once your video tracks line up, you can save your project. Tap the share icon, tap movie, and then choose where you want to save it. Make sure the resolution matches your project, in my case 1080p. Then tap the export icon once more. To see more of my tutorials or check out Dusty Porter's channel, use the links in the video description.